Hi, it's Brett Elliott, medical herbalist. And today I'm here to talk to you about parasites, in particular the type that we pick up as human beings. So you may have heard of worms. Worms are the most common, commonly heard of type of parasite. And we know that we deworm our pets, our cats and dogs and so on, every year. It's a good practice. But we should also do that with ourselves so and our family. So we need to deworm ourselves once a year. Reason being is that we don't just pick them up from pets that are in our homes that naturally bring them into the house. They pick them up from the dirt outside, from the ground, most commonly, and bring them into the home that way. And the eggs are microscopic, and we can actually breathe those in, or they can be picked up just by contact. Uh, it's very important to clean fingernails. Another thing is we can pick up parasites when we travel, uh, or when we get into waterways, like rivers or streams. They're very commonly found in there. Uh, a lot of people can pick up thread worms, you know, doing things like kayaking or whitewater rafting and getting into the river. Uh, another common way of getting it is through uh, uncooked, uncleaned food, particularly fish. Uh, it's a very common way to get it because sometimes fish is consumed raw. So, yeah, there's lots of different ways we can pick up parasites. But most important thing is hygiene. So very uh, short fingernails and very, very clean um, utensils. And often also you can pick up parasites from uh, raw food. So a lot of people go organic with their food and raw with their food, and they can get a lot of intestinal disturbances. Because a lot of these parasites, not even worms, but even bacteria and microorganisms that are on the plants, can sometimes be an overgrowth in the gut by having too much raw food. So there's many ways we can pick up parasites. So it's very important to do an annual parasite cleanse. Okay, so moving on to the symptoms of parasites. A lot of the most common symptoms of parasites can be sort of things that we just think are normal and we get used to. One of those is being constantly irritated or aggravated, like feeling aggravated. And another one is being constantly hungry and wanting to snack all the time. So this insatiable craving, particularly for sugar. And another one is also obvious, which is an itching around the anus. That's when we've got, um, you know, worms coming out of the anus at night in particular. And another one is constant fatigue. So never really having enough energy or feeling like you should you should have more energy. So you can be uh, tested for parasites, but it is quite difficult because quite often they'll stay in the gut and they won't show themselves in the stool samples. So you can get your, your stool samples tested for some parasites, but most of them um, are a little bit hard to detect especially if they've gone deeper into the body as well. So parasites can get into the liver. They have been known to get into the brain. So it's really important to get parasites early and do a good annual parasite cleanse so they don't get deeper into your body. All right, so just a couple of things you can do on a regular ongoing basis to reduce the occurrence of, of parasites and the, the population of them in your body is to look at what you're eating. So some foods in particular will, um, and some practices will encourage parasites to grow in your body. So it's a bit like uh, a parking lot. You've got a certain amount of parking spaces there in your gut for microbes and organisms to, to park and live. And if you're wiping out some of the good ones, for example, with um, antibiotic treatments um, or you know consuming too much sugar and processed food, it wipes out the good bacteria in your gut and it leaves uh, spaces for parasites to, to get in there and take hold. And also if you're feeding yourself with too much sugar, um, that can be a, a prime environment for parasite overgrowth. It's also really important to have um, anti-parasitic foods. So things like garlic is really good, lots of garlic. Um, onions are also good. But you can also consume things like aloe vera. So aloe vera juice is really helpful. And also hot curry or hot chili, cayenne pepper, those things are really good for helping to knock parasites and, and discourage them from staying in your body. And something I use quite often is a herbal tea. So this is cloves, ordinary um, kitchen cloves that you use in your cooking. And you can just crush these up and make a herbal tea, which is fantastic. And I am also do a product, a herbal product called Colonade Paracleanse or Paracleanse um, slash Colonade. So this has got herbs in it which are very, very good for knocking parasites and that's part of the Parasite Cleanse Detox program that we suggest. So that's got herbs in it like wormwood, black walnut, cloves, 
and golden seal and those are very very good anti-parasitic herbs so you can do a high dose of those herbs for a short term couple of weeks and do a lot of those foods we suggested uh, other things you can also do is ground pumpkin seeds which is really helpful as well so by consuming all of these things in conjunction you can do a natural parasite cleanse on your body and we also suggest after that doing a lot of good things like probiotics and probiotic yogurt and more of the aloe vera juice and so on so I hope that's been helpful and you'll find more information on this page and you'll find links to the product we talked about as well. And uh, yeah, look forward to talking to you again soon.